Hi, I'm Dave. Why do fast chargers charge us 50, 60, 70 pence per kilowatt hour? I'm looking into this now. I cannot understand why. So we're going to look into some figures. So stick around as Dave takes on overcharging of fast chargers. Now, let's just get some facts sorted out before we go any further. I've just spoken to a number of um, companies that do business rate uh, utilities for businesses. So if I bought, for example, a shop or a cafe or a um, tanning salon, whatever it is, and I had a car park outside where I could, uh, where my visitors, my guests, my customers could park, um, I could go to a company, a bit like uh, Octopus or Ovo or uh, British Gas, and I could ask for the price of electricity and gas to my shop. Most people have no idea what rate this is. So I'm talking about just me as a shop owner. I've just bought a shop and I have got a price of between 22 and 25 pence per kilowatt hour. These are fairly standard. You, you might get some cheaper deals. Uh, you can get some um, overnight economy seven deals uh, and you can get some very special offers from time to time. But the typical average, if you had to average everything up, is between 22 and 25 pence uh, per kilowatt hour. So I've got my shop and immediately outside uh, I've got uh, a car parking space. So I could go and I could go and buy a seven kilowatt charger. There's loads on the market. They're three, four hundred quid, uh, five hundred quid for the top of the range. Not going to name any names. There's loads out there. You can just go and buy one. And I could get an electrician to install it for me. And the price of the charger and the price of the electrician would be somewhere around about a thousand pound. Could be five, six, seven hundred pound for some, twelve hundred for others. But let's say round about a thousand pounds. So for one thousand pound, I could from my shop, put a charger outside and offer it free to my customers. I would then have to absorb whatever it paid. But if a customer is out there uh, for, let's say, a haircut or whatever it is, and they're there for an hour, hour and a half, they're not going to use a huge amount. They might, if they're taking seven kilowatts of power and they're there for an hour, they'll take seven kilowatts. If I'm paying 25p per kilowatt hour, uh, then that's less than two quid. Um, it, it's, it's not an awful lot of money, but if that brings me new customers, that might be worth doing. Better option would be to just charge them what I pay, and that would be 25 pence. So they could come along, and assuming they can't charge at home, they could park outside my shop while they're using whatever it is I'm selling, and they could get uh, 7, 10, 15, 20 kilowatts of power, uh, and they could pay around about 25 pence. 25 pence is a really good rate. Just to put it into perspective, most EVs do four miles per kilowatt hour, so 25 pence gives you a price of about six pence a mile, and a car that does 50 miles to the gallon with petrol would be paying about 13 pence a mile. So if they came and charged at my shop when they used it, um, they could get half price driving. Now, do we see fast chargers outside shops charging 25 pence? Well, the answer is no. This is one of the most complained about things that I get in the comments section is, the price of these is 40, 50, 60, sometimes 70 pence per kilowatt hour for a seven kilowatt charger. Some of them charge 60 pence for a three kilowatt charger. Now, in my opinion, this is absolutely blatant ripoff. They are buying the electricity at 25 pence. They are selling it for 60 or 70 pence. That is extortion. And I don't know why we put up with it or anyone is allowed to put up with that. By the way, the only way to stop it, don't ever use them. If someone's charging 60 or 70p, don't use it. I'll come to, back to how you can avoid it at the end of the video. Uh, but 
don't use it. You're only encouraging them if you are prepared to pay 50 pence, which is twice what they're paying, um, for parking there and using their facilities. And they're going to charge you for whatever they do, for a haircut or a cafe or a um, shop, whatever it is you buy. So they are ripping you off on the charging, trying to make a profit out of you, and that's all it is. And the reason they do it is because they can. So, if I was a bigger company, let's say Tesco, I'm pretty certain I wouldn't be paying 25 pence per kilowatt hour if I was Tesco. I believe, might be wrong, but I believe that I would be able to negotiate a better rate. If you want my business, um, um, whoever it is, Octopus or uh, EDF, uh, you can give me a decent rate. I'm going to buy massive electricity and gas. Give me a decent price. And I'm sure they get a cheaper price. So the supermarkets can do it. The shops can do it. Why is it being done? It's being done because they can get away with it. And this is what has to change. Now, let me give you a way of avoiding them. And this is purely people power now. Uh, the only way we're going to stop these people buying, uh, uh, selling this electricity at these 50, 60, 70 pence for a, through a 7 kilowatt charger is by not using them. So what's your alternative? Have a look around elsewhere. There are plenty of deals about. If your 7 kilowatt is charging you 60 pence, there's loads of deals out there that will, you can charge for less than 60 pence and you can do it at a rapid or ultra rapid charger. Ionity, for example, 74 pence, but if you get a, a, a membership, that drops down to 58 pence. It's cheaper to go to Ionity once a week, top up fully, than to try and plug in somewhere every day at 60 or 70 pence. Uh, look also at Fastnet, uh, they're the same, they come down to about 40, 40 something pence uh, with a membership. Look around for Tesla, open to all superchargers, they'll be down in the 30 or 40 pence without membership and down in the 20 pence with membership. If I had a car and I couldn't charge it home and my local 7 kilowatt chargers were charging 50, 60 or 70 pence, I'd go and drive 4, 5, 6, 10 miles to a Tesla supercharger or an Ionity charger or a Fastnet charger and I would just go and have a cup of coffee, plug it in once a week, have a cup of coffee, unplug, drive home, job done. And I would boycott these 50, 60, 70 pence fast chargers, 3, 7, 11 kilowatts. Just boycott them. If people don't use them, they are going to have to do something. So if you've spent thousands of pounds having a couple of charges put outside your premises uh, and you're hoping to charge 60 or 70p and nobody turns up, what are your choices? Well, one of the choices is to just drop your price down to 30p, make just a small profit, maybe five pence per kilowatt hour, and offer it to all your customers. It's business sense. Are you trying to rip off your customers or offer them a service? And the trouble these days is too many people are looking to rip off. And this also applies to shops where they rent out or sell or lease out the space for someone else to put a charger there. Uh, someone like Osprey will come along and say, if you let us put a charger there or two chargers there, we'll pay you X pound a month in rent. Oh, go for it. Uh, and greed. And then what happens is that they have these chargers, uh, Osprey charge 79p. They're not used very much because they are one of the dearest chargers out there. Uh, and so you just lose two parking spaces outside your shop. Does that make sense? It's greed. The shopkeeper was hoping to make money out of Osprey. Osprey was hoping to make money out of the shop, the shoppers who go to the shop. And it's just down to pure greed. There's nobody out there at the moment just doing what's right, which, which is to say, you know, I'll put in a charger, I'll charge an extra 5p or 10p a kilowatt hour to cover my costs and I, if I ever have to repair it or replace it. So I'll charge out at 30 or 35 pence a kilowatt hour and anyone can use it. I don't mind. As long as it's being used, I'm making 10p. If it's used every day, I'm going to make a couple of quid. If it's not used every, every day continuously, I'll probably still cover my costs. We're not seeing this. And the leaders in this should be your local council. Why are the councils charging 40, 50, 60, 70 P for council installed charges inside a, a parish? Why? They see it 
it's, all, it's, it's, it's money all the time, isn't it? The councils think, oh, we're short of money. If we get um, Instavolt in, put a couple of charges in the car park, we can rip off all our council taxpayers and we can make a few quid out of it. When are we going to stop doing this? I always ask councils when I talk to them and they talk about this, oh, they have to make a profit out of it. Why? Tell me how much profit a library makes. You run libraries. Tell me how much profit a, a, a youth centre makes. Tell me how much profit a bin lorry makes. Some services that you provide are services. They should be provided free to your council tax payers within your council tax bill. And there should not be any thought given to trying to rip off your own council tax payers in order to make a few quid to top up your, um, your, your total revenue. This needs a total change. Part of it is coming from uh, the very top, it's from the government. Everything's money, 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 money. We're seeing less and less going into services. You're looking at the water recently, all the sewage being pumped in. We're looking at the grid. There's no real major investment being done in that for quite a while. It's only the fact that we have all gone for LED lights and everything else, and we're using less now that the, they can absorb the extra load from the EV cars. Uh, but that's going to catch up. And Who's, who's announcing that we're going to be doing a lot more? Nobody. It's all profit, 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 and that needs to end. Anyway, had my rant. I'm Dave, so thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please click the like button and subscribe so we can notify you when we release the next video. I'm Dave.